are seated uh, in the middle of Warner Brothers uh, Eastwood scoring stage, which is where we record most of the score for Star Trek Picard and for Star Trek Discovery. And uh, we are about to record a version of Blue Skies, the song Blue Skies, which has a lot of, a lot of meaning for us. This is obviously a bit of a throwback to um, Star Trek Nemesis when uh, when Data sang Blue Skies. So it's really it's really cool that you know Data's daughter kind of gets to <laughs> sing it as well. This song was always going to play. I think Alex and Michael had talked about it as a you know a means to sort of bookend the season. And I was talking with Alex about it, and he said, you know, maybe we do our own version of the song. And I said, oh well, what a great idea! Why don't I do a version of the song? and we'll find a singer to, to sing it for us. And he was like, well, you know, Issa is a singer. So my parents are musical theater actors, so I kind of grew up around it. And when I was 19, I had moved to New York, and my first audition in New York was Hamilton. And I uh, got to do Hamilton on tour, and so that was kind of my first bigger musical theater experience. And, um, and right after I left Hamilton, jumped right into this. When I met Issa at the premiere, I assumed Alex had asked her. Jeff tapped me on, on, my, on my shoulder and was like, hey, has Alex told you about the thing? And I was like, no. <laughs> and he was like, oh, never mind. And then I went and I found Alex and I was like, Alex, I think I told Issa before you said something. He was like, okay, Alex said it's okay, I can tell you. We made this arrangement and we would love for you to sing it and that's kind of how it all started. <laughs> you know, the instrumentation is close to our score. It's a little bit smaller of an orchestra and that's because it's a very intimate song and I wanted it to feel very close to your heart. But it's strings, it's woodwinds, it's some brass and a lot of it is very textural because the, really the main part of the of the song is the lyric and the melody. So we, you really want to be able to keep that front and center. So we didn't want anything too loud or too much to jump in front of that vocal. Never saw the sun. So this, this song is coming at a very, uh, very important moment in the final episode. Um, we're kind of saying goodbye to Data. Admiral Picard has a, has a um, theoretical meeting and discussion with Data. And at the end of this conversation, he asks Michelle Nick Picard to basically unplug him from life support um, because he, he would like his life and his emotions and his relationships to have the kind of meaning that they can only have if his life was finite. And that's where this song will play. And that song plays sort of across that whole section of him going and doing and interacting with the rest of the cast in order to do that. It's so right that this is the song that is playing during this moment because I think when, when Data sings it in Nemesis, it's the beginning of something as we sing it. This time it is the end of this chapter, it is a goodbye. So you kind of get the whole journey within this one moment. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Captain.